Good morning. Uh, good morning, Commissioner Wetzel, Co-Chairpersons per, co Lopez and Taylor, and members of the board. My name is Michael Brosden, and I'm thankful to speak with you on behalf of Bridgeport Public Schools, where I serve as the new teacher coordinator and the district teacher education and mentoring or team facilitator. Mm -hmm. Clearly, there are many, many concerns with our state's <coughs> recently passed budget, and rightfully so. Education continues to be a target for lawmakers to make cuts. And I wish to thank all of you for the work that you've done to preserve and to prevent many of these during these tenure on your board. One aspect of the budget that appears to have continued fallout is the defunding of the team program for beginning teachers. Already, the cost of shifting mentor stipends onto the district has had a significant impact on large urban districts. It will cost Bridgeport an unforeseen $91,000 to provide mentors with their $500 statutorily required stipends for this school year. And that's disregarding the fact that no new training for mentors is being provided. While initially it seemed that the major burden of cost that would fall on the municipalities would be this statutory mentor stipend and the projected cost of training new mentors, it seems that's not where the proposed cuts end. Unfortunately, the RESCs communicated they are no longer to able to sustain the team dashboard that districts use to track and communicate team completion for the State Department of Education. To that end, RESCs are requesting $150 per beginning new teacher to continue to utilize the dashboard for the remainder of this academic year. While it's understandable that money is in short supply, Pushing this additional cost onto municipalities in the middle of a fiscal year is reckless. Simply to utilize the dashboard, it would now cost Bridgeport Public <coughs> an additional $27,300. <coughs> yes, the number is high, but it's not surprising given that large urban districts employ a disproportionately large number of new teachers enrolled in the team program compared to our <coughs> suburban counterparts, due mainly to high annual teacher turnover. The rest put together a list of requirements should districts be unable or unwilling to pay the dashboard fee. However, all the statutory requirements remain, and therefore the districts would have to incur the cost of implementing a new plan that would serve the same state standard for certification. Furthermore, despite the November memorandum from the Commissioner's Office outlining the districts and the State Department of Ed's respective responsibilities, which clearly states in bold, the beginning teachers will no longer be required to submit reflection papers, district facilitators were informed that the statutory reflective requirement remains. This ambiguity has communicated an unclear message to new <coughs> faculty and to districts alike. Understandably, the review process for the reflection aspect of team also requires funding, and if that responsibility was also going to fall solely on the district, it needed to be made evident. I understand the timer went off, so I, th I thank you very much for your time. The bottom line is that we have an unfunded mandate, and some of your large urban districts need your assistance to maintain the dashboard. Thank you. Thank you.